critters and welcome back to the crafty critter so here it is i said i was going to do a video that involved these four napkin holders and this paper towel holder and what you're also going to need is some uh, wire cutters um, these are actually some heavy duty floral wire cutters but those will work just fine too and zip ties um so zip ties you can get from the Dollar Tree, but of course you can get them at any hardware store, Walmart, wherever. Um, so this um, DIY has been inspired by something I saw on Pinterest. Um, pin and I've seen um, some other people imitate this too on um, YouTube as well. I've seen other vi videos on this. And what they did was they took these paper towel holders and they zip tied them together and then used them as a rack for um, these kind of paint bottles because they just kind of fit like right in here. So that is what we're going to do. Um, but this didn't seem stable enough for me. So, what I'm going to do is zip tie it actually to this paper towel holder, which will do two things for me. It'll give me a more stable base, but it'll also give me a handle at the top to lift this up with and move it around if I needed to. So, that is what we're going to do. So, we're going to take um, our first zip tie and start getting the zip tie on there. I will not zip all tie all these two with you on the video, but we will fill the rack together. Or we'll see. This might actually go pretty quick. And you know, actually I think I should try to manage doing this all at once. It's going to be a little hard to hold it, but we're going to do it. Let's start at the top here. Help if I turned it correctly. All right, let's secure two more here at the bottom. If you didn't really want the zip ties to show, you could also use um, just some regular wire and do a wire wrap around this. But it is in my craft room, so it's not like it's going to be anything truly, really fancy. And I think the paint bottles, for the most part, you're going to be more drawn to the colors in the paint than you are going to be looking at the fact that there's some twist ties on this. Alright, 
And now we're just going to use our wire cutters and clip off the excess. Now you could, I'm going to take my camera back a little bit. Now you could add another tear up here. So if you, if you grew your paint collection and, and really needed that extra tear, you could attach it here. You would just secure the, um, the top ones to this one as well. And, um, and that would make it even more secure. In fact, I think I do want to set one in here too and kind of attach these two. And that'll make it more secure. We're going to put one on that side and one on this side. aside. Throw my garbage in the can down here. All right. And let me show you what I'm dealing with. This is the paint drawer. Now on top of all of these paints, I also have an entire box of Arteza paints. Arteza, Arteza. I know I've heard it pronounced both ways. So anyway, um, I'm not sure when they color coordinate these or anything. Um, at least not right now. We're going to just slip them on here. Um, and see what happens. I should probably start at the bottom first. Let's turn this. Move this closer. And... See how many are going to fit in one side here. Looks like I got so six. Looks like six. Some of my paints are separated. I haven't used those once in a while. to make sure that they kind of sat in the rod a little bit. There we go. All right, um, I think we can store a couple in here. And that looks like everything. So I think I'm gonna have to get some more because I still have well, I have one of these left, so um, yeah, I'm not sure how I'm going to get that in there. Oh, I've got two, and then I've got all of these, and I'm not sure how to store these. These are from the Dollar Tree, um, and then I have all of these as well, so they'll probably just sit into this drawer until I figure out what to do with them, but I might try to rearrange this and see if I can squeeze these two in, so um, let me do that. And I think I'm going to co coordinate this a little bit better. So I'll be right back. Hello, critters. So, okay, so I'm back. 
Um, I did take some time to kind of go through this and kind of um, sort it out a little bit better. So I've got my gold, my black, everything here are all of my glitter glues or glitter paints. And then I did my white and my um, cream. Um, it's kind of like my off-white here. And then on top, I've got, you know, um, pinks. I've got the pinks, the reds, the oranges, our greens, our blues, my uh, one single purple. And then I just kind of sl slipped in my gray there. Um, so it did fit everything except for my two browns. So what I think I will do is I think I will get another tier and kind of um, stack on top of this. Um, just to um, have an extra space because I always like extra storage of just a tad bit more than what I normally than what I actually need because I like room to grow so I think that that will be something that I will be doing so um, thanks for um, watching this video I hope you like I hope this gives you an idea of you know how to store some paints if you have some um, I would love to know how you store yours if you have any. Um, you know, this just throwing them in a drawer just didn't quite work for me. Um, so I'm hoping that this will. So I hope you like um, the video and um, subscribe to the channel for future videos. And thank you for joining me and I will see you in a future video.